and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you all for subscribing to my channel i thank you for your love and for your support if you are new to the channel you're highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button on the side and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever i upload a new video that's just like basically the essence of hitting on that bell okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a gown a pencil gown with structured sleeves so you can see the picture just like i showed you earlier on the thumbnail that's what we're going to be learning how to cut and sew today so i'm going to be making use of an ankara fabric and this is african print this is three yards of fabric that's what i'm going to be making use of and then i'm going to be mixing it up with this black baby lace so that's what i'm going to use for the sleeve and then the little yoke on the center okay guys so Okay, so if you want to register for our online classes, you can just see my number scrolling through the screen. You can send me a message on WhatsApp. I'll give you the details of the classes that we have presently av available. You can follow me on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all at Stylish Ninja. Okay, guys, so now let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be drafting it on the pattern paper. That's the top part. And then we're going to transfer to the fabric. So we'll be able to work on the yoke part of the dress. So now let's get started. Okay guys, so you can see my pattern paper laid out on the table. So these are the measurements that I'm going to be making use of. The shoulder is 14 inches. The bust is 33 inches. You divide into 4, I have 8.25. The under bust is 27 inches. That's the under bust line. This is the bust line. And then this is the waist line. This is the hip line. And then the waist, without this point, is 25 you divide into four you have 6.25 and then the hip this is the hip line is 35 you divide into four you have 8.2 8.75 and then the full length of the gown is 41 inches so these are the measurements that we're going to be making use of so you can see my basic dress pattern is already on the table so this is just like a basic bodies all of the lines are already in the, indicated here so the next thing that we're going to start marking out all of this measurement just like i explained to you so this is the shoulder line and then i'll come to the bust line now impute the measurement 33 divided by 8 sorry divide by 4 you have 8.25 so i'm just going to approximate it to 8.5 and then i'm going to add my dart so i'll add that of about three and a half inches why because i want to do make it a princess dart pattern so I don't want it to get truncated. So that is why if not, you can just add two inches. It's okay. Okay, so the next measurement now is the under bust. So from the shoulder to the bust is 10 inches. And then the under bust is 13. And then the waist is 18. And then the hip line is 27. So these are all of the measurements. The next measurement we are going to add now is the under bust measurement, which is 6.75. And then I'm going to add my allowance also. So from this point, I'm just going to do this. I'll just use dotted lines. Later, I'll blend all of them together. And then the waist is 25, which is 6.25. And then I'll add my allowance also to it. So from there, I'm just going to dot it down like that. And then the next thing is the hip which is 8.5, 8.75. So I'm just going to approximate it and then I will add my allowance also. So from this point, I'm just going to do this. I use dotted lines to meet it up. So for the down part, it is a straight gown. So for mine, it's not going to be a full long straight. So my own is going to be a midi. So what I'm going to do, what I have here on this hip line, I'm just going to reduce two inches from it. So I'm, I'll reduce about two inches from it here, like this. So from this point, like this now, I'm just going to go and then I will do this. So you can see my gown, it is very simple and easy. So I'll use my pattern cup now to blend up all of my lines together. Okay, so you can see my basic dress. So the next thing, I'm, like I said, I want to adapt this to a princess that pattern. 
so what i'll do i'll come to this armhole part i'll check what i have between this point and this point which is four inches so from this four inches i'm just going to come like this and then the next thing on my on my on that bust area i'm going to mark out my half of my arm i'm sorry i'm going to mark out my dart my bust fan rather so for the bust pan i'm making it of four inches which is eight inches so i'm just going to take it and blend it into that point like this so it is not a bust it's just a it is just a straight cut princess that pattern so from this part also i'll just increase this part to five inches and then i'll increase the down part also to 5.5 inches so it's just a straight pattern so for this part i'm going to extend this part by two inches why because i don't want it to get truncated after cutting so it's just a straight that so i'm just putting it to define the lines so it's not it is not a bust here okay so the next thing now i'm going to cut out my pattern so this pattern i'll use it to cut out both the back and the front so i'll cut out the side first so i'll transfer this to the fabric to cut out the back so the only thing i'm going to add is a that is a zipper allowance of two inches to this pattern okay guys so you can see so this is the back piece i've not opened up the dart i just want to finish with the the pattern first before i open up the dart so the next thing we're going to add the neckline now so for the neckline if you notice it is a round neckline before we add the yoke on it so for the top part i'm using three inches i'm using three inches for the wideness of my neckline so this is my three inches and then the top one I will just come with about one inch because it is a lace I'm using, so I'll fold the lace neckline. So I'll use one inches, and then the yoke. So for the yoke, you're going to determine how deep you want it to be. You understand? Depends on how deep you actually want it to be. So for mine, I'm going to go with seven point five inches. I don't want it to be too deep. Seven point five inches is okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to those parts like this. And then I'll blend it in with, with the neckline points like this. So I'll just make sure it enters into the neckline area. And then I would mark. I will cut it out like this. So this part is what I'm going to use for my yoke now. So it came out a little bit, but it is okay. When, when I'm cutting it, I'll know what to do and then I'll cut this out like this. So this little part is what I will use for my yoke. So you can see it. So now then I can go ahead now and open up my dart and open up my dart legs. I'll open up the dart legs. So most times I usually don't cut it open. So the next thing I'm going to use this to cut out my lining. So I'll take it back to my machine now and then I'll close up the dart. I'll close it back. I'll do the same thing to the back and then I'll cut out the I'll use my piece now to cut out the yoke for the front. So I'll place this. And then I will cut it. So as I'm cutting, I'm going to add. I'll just increase it a little bit. So that is okay. This is just okay for the front. For this center front. For me, like this. It's going to stay here like this, so you see. So I'm going to cut out the neckline. And so note, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use the original piece because I don't want I don't want it to be too big. So I'll use, make use of my original piece back. I'm even reducing it a little bit. 
So I've now added the round part of the neckline. Note that you can make it as a top stitch. You can sew it and turn it. I think the, the best way is just to sew it like this. Place it like this here. And then I'll sew it to this part. And then sew this and then iron it. And then sew this part. And then iron it back. So I'll go and do that and then join my back. Okay, so you just stitch it like this straight. And then when you get to this point, you turn, you just turn it and then you stitch it to this side. So you can see mine. It is not looking, it's not laying straight. So the next thing I'm going to do, you can do this in two ways. You can use the top stitch to secure it down or you use a pressing iron. So mine, I'm going to use a pressing iron. You can see this part. This part is not looking very straight, but I'm going to use a pressing iron to secure it down. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to join the dots together and then I'll show you how to turn it with the lining. Okay, so I'm going to stitch now. So this is the down part. I'm just going to, to stitch this part first and then stitch this side and then I will turn it. So that neckline part, I'm going to top stitch it when I turn it to the right side. Okay. Okay, so you can see I finished turning it. So I've ironed it down. So for the neckline, the way we're going to finish it up. So this is the stitch that we use to join the to join it. So you can see after turning the neckline part, I did not attach it. So what I'm doing now, if you notice, I've pinned down this part. The seam allowance, I'm folding it in like this. Because I want it to have a clean finish here. So I'm folding it down and then I'm using my pins to secure it from the inside. So you can see. So the, the lace is covering the you can see it is covering the the lining from the inside like this. So after everything I'm going to take it back to my ironing table I'll iron it down. You can decide to use an hemming gum to actually secure this down you can do that if you don't want to have any stitch on the side but mine i'm going to use a stitch as i'm going to iron it now and then i'll use use a very clean stitch like this just to secure the neckline down and then this one i'll turn this one so for this one i'm just going to fold it i'll use i'll just cut out this little piece and then use it to turn out this part so this part you can decide to leave it like that so it depends on what you want so you can see how the inside is looking so it will look neat any excess you can trim you can use hemming gum so i'll do that now and then i'll come back and after doing that i'll join them on the shoulder and then join the side iron it and then bring it back for us to cut out the sleeves okay guys so you can see so i finished joining the side joining my dress the next thing i'm going to cut out my pencil slip so you can see the inside so you see how it is looking neat just the way i explained it to you so it is neat and then it's laid flat down so the next thing i'm going to cut out a straight pencil slip first and then before i cut out the other structured sleeve so i'll just fold my fabric into four like this and then I'll use my sleeve measurement. So this is just the basic sleeve. So the length of the sleeve is 17 inches. That's for the long part. So I have 19 inches here, which is perfect and okay. So the next thing now, I'm going to measure my armhole. That is what I'll use to. That is what I would use. So I'll just measure it around like this. So it will help me. So I have about 10 inches, which is just perfect. So I'm going to place, I'll come to this point like this. I'll come down by four, just four inches is okay. And then I'm going to mark that 10 inches like this. I'll just give it a slant curve. So that 10 inches, I can increase it a little bit. So I'll have a little bit of allowance. So when I want to stitch, I'll be able to stitch it okay so you can see i've measured my 10 inches here plus one inch allowance and then this is the length which is 17. so the next thing i'm going to mark my round armhole on this point i have eight inches so i'll make it 10 i'll just add two inches allowance to it 
I'll mark it that way. And then from this part, on this part, I have 10 inches, so which is five, and I'll add one inch to it, which is six, just for stitching allowance. And then I'm going to do this just to get, because it is stretchy, so I've arranged it so it will be stretchy so you can see. So I'll cut out my long basic sleeve right now. And then I'll come back and show you how to cut out the other structured one. Okay guys, so you can see, so I finished cutting the straight sleeve. So this is it. The next thing now, we're going to cut the other part, which is the structured part or the gong part of the sleeve. So mine, I don't want it to be as long as the one on the original picture. So I'm going to come to this point like this. So I'm going to use about 9 inches for the length of my own. So this is 9 inches. I'm going to add 2 inches to it for allowance. And then the next thing, I'm just going to make... Okay, I'll fold this more. So I'm just going to make like a round circle here, like this. And then I'll float it into this part. So you can see how the shape is looking like. It's just like a circle. So this part, I'm going to hold this part. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to fix this part. Okay. So from this part, my armhole, you know I'm using 10 inches. So this is my 10 inches here. This is my 10 inches. So I'm going to add a little bit of about 2 inches and I'm going to pleat. I don't want the pleat to be too much. Just... A little bit like this and then I'm going to have this so you can see my 10 inches so this part this part now is going to come like this so this is where I'm going to stop that's where my arm hold area is going to stop and then this part is, is floating is opening so that is what we give it that that shape so I want you to note so I'm going to cut it out right now So for the down part, you can make it as wa however wide, how wide you want. So I'll use this, I'll cut out the second part. So I'll cut out the second one and then I'll cut my lining and then I'll sew and turn. So I'm going to add interfacing on this one. I'll just add a, a paper gum to this just to give it structure and then I'll sew it. So this is how I'm going to sew it. I'll sew it from down and then I'll turn it. Okay guys, so I'm going to start stitching now. So this is the, the sleeve. So I fixed one. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it, how I fixed it. So you can see this one is thin on its own. It's not joined to this. So I'm going to explain it right now. So this is the, the other one. That's the structured one. So I've ironed my interfacing on it and then I've... I've stitch and turn it so the next thing i'm going to create pleats on it i'll just create pleats it depends on how full you want your pleats to to be just create your plates like this so once you create your pleats so you can see the structureness has come out already so the next thing now I'm going to take my pencil sleeve and then just get the center of it like this so after getting the center I'm going to come to the center of this I'll place it so I want to stitch it around it so I'm not going to get to the end just just take a look at what I'm doing so I'll stitch it like this and then once I get to this part I'll just leave about between 3 inches to the end I'll leave it and then I'll repeat the same thing on this other side also so you can see how it looks like now so I've stitched it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this. I'll turn it to the back like this, and then just bring the structure one, bring it inside, 
and then I'll hold my pencil sleeve. I'm going to hold it. You know my arm hold is 10. stitching it so you see how it looks like so i'll open it up now so i've opened it up so you see how it is inside now it is inside so the next thing i'm going to you know my round sleeve is 10 inches i'm going to take the structure sleeve like this also and then i'll measure that 10 inches so i'll measure the 10 inches from this round armhole area to make sure that I have it so you can see my 10 inches so I'll place it like this and then I'm going to stitch it down so for the down part of my sleeve I actually reduced it while I did this one so I'm using about eight and a half inches so that eight and a half I'm just going to mark here like this and then I'll have my eight and a half I'll mark it like this here and then I'm going to just slope it in like this So I've not trimmed out any part, I just want to check and then I'll open open all of it up like this. Push this one back inside. So you see what I have then on this part now. This part you have to join both of them together as you stitch them together like this so you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead. You know that secure that I was securing it. I'll secure it around like that. So after securing it so you can see our structure pencil sleeve so it really looks good fine and nice so you can see so the next thing is just for me to fix it to the dress so i'll go ahead i'll fix it and then i'll place the dress on the mannequin for you to okay see. guys so at the end of the day so you can see how our pencil gown with pencil structure sleeves looks like so it actually came out really fine so because of the size it will not fit into my mannequin so that is why i decided to just show it like this so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please i would appreciate if you hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed so please subscribe to stylish Ninja youtube channel thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next video